We are, we are holding in the laws of Shabbos, Simon Ein Reish Hei Allah Gimel. Nevertheless, Uh, nevertheless, this prohibition was only issued with regards to an individual reading alone. Two people, by contrast, may read together. So we spoke about reading uh, to, to the light of the candle, right? Using the light of the candle to read on Shabbos. So he said the prohibition is only issued with an individual reading, but two people are uh, looking together, reading together. Two people by conscience may read together because if one will attempt to tilt the lamp, the other one will remind them what he's doing. This leniency applies only when, when they are reading the same subject matter. Then one pays attention to what the other is doing. If, however, one is reading about one subject and the other is reading about another subject, even if the two are on the same page, each one is engrossed in his subject and he will not pay attention to what the other is doing. Therefore, they are both forbidden to read by the glow of the light. Moreover, even if they're reading about the same subject, but one is reading from one book and the other is reading from another book, they are forbidden to read by the glow of the Shabbos candle. This could happen. Not like something that is not relevant. It could have a light out. No electricity in the house. Now you have the Shabbos candles. You want to say uh, grace after meal. You come closer to the light to read. So if they're reading the same subject, we said it's not a problem. But now we see that it also has to be the same book. Because if they're reading from different books, but one is reading from one book and the other is reading from another book. They are forbidden to read by the glow of the Shabbos light because each one is engrossed in his particular book and he will not pay attention to the other's actions. It therefore is forbidden to recite the hymns. Uh, it calls it lith, uh, lith, litur, liturgical, liturgical hymns, right? The, the hymns, the, the song of Shabbos, the liturgical hymns in the synagogue when a festival falls on Shabbos. Why? Why can't you sing the, the hymns in the synagogue, festival falls on Shabbos? Because each individual reads from his own book. It says in 14, because these different festivals are celebrated only once a year, people are at least somewhat unfamiliar with these, with these hymns. Right? Uh, not a bad custom, but uh, you have different synagogues uh, on Shavuos, for example, they sing different hymns. And since it's only once a year, people are not familiar with the song. So they have to look in the book, unfamiliar with these hymns, and will uh, need to read, to read them from a prayer book. Hence, uh, the leniency mentioned in subsec uh, subsection 10 does not apply. There are authorities who maintain that there, there is no difference whether people are reading from one book or from many books, as long as they are reading the same subject or the same subject matter, it is, permitted, it is permitted to do it. The prevailing custom follows the first view. So even if it's a different subject? Okay. So two guys reading the same subject? subject? Different book. No, the same book? As long the as they are reading the same subject, it is permitted. But the prevailing custom follows the first view. So the first view we said the prevailing custom yeah. is not to do it. Unless it's like we said yesterday, that it's a fixed lamp that's, that, that you can't move it by touching it, right? It's, it's above you or it's fixed into the wall, right? You said that yesterday? Uh, yes. You get stuck if the, you know, you have to have Shabbos and it's a hurricane. But what if it's not the, I guess it's any candle, yeah? So it doesn't have to be the Shita candle. That's if, that's if the, there was no, uh, if, if the, it says only if uh, the test that you're performing 
is not, uh, does not necess necessitate concentration. But if you need concentration, even if it's a, s a candle is, right. is, is uh, glued to the wall, yeah. you shouldn't do it. It says, also uh, becholim. Under all circumstances, our sages did not make any distinctions regarding this matter. And when they forbade performing a test that requires concentration by the glow of light, they prohibited doing so under all circumstances. 